Hi, this is Mara Velasic, one of your instructional technology coaches. Today I'm going to talk about Zoom meeting settings for teachers. These are recommended settings if you plan to host Zoom meetings with your students. I'm in the Zoom desktop app and I'm going to schedule a meeting. Up here I can change the title of this meeting. So this might be for first period Spanish 3. And I'm going to make this a recurring meeting because I'll use the same link every time with my Spanish 3 class. If you want more information on recurring meetings, we have another video that can help you with that. And then I'm going to scroll down here. I can password protect this meeting. That means I would need to share that password with any students that are joining the meeting. They will have to enter the password in order to participate. And then here I can decide if I want the option to have my video on as a host and the option for my participants to have their video on during our meeting. They can always turn off their video, but this setting will allow video or not during the call, so that's up to you. Audio, I can allow them to telephone into the meeting, use their computer audio or both. If I scroll down a little bit more and click Advanced Options, I can enable waiting room, which would allow students to wait in a waiting room. And then once they've tried to join the meeting, I would have to approve them to actually join the conversation. That's up to you. I would not check enable join before host. That means that students would be able to join the meeting before I have entered the meeting as the host. I would like to be there first to check my settings and then have students join after me. I would suggest mute participants on entry. That will help um, any students that are joining late not interrupt the conversation that's already started. And I would automatically record the meeting. Um, we highly suggest this so that all of your Zoom meetings with students are recorded. I would record in the cloud. That will record in your Google Drive. You can access them through the Zoom website. And then I'm going to click Schedule. If I click on meetings up here, I can see this recurring meeting that I just created, first period Spanish 3. I'm going to start the meeting so I can show you a couple other settings once you get a meeting started. I'm going to join with my computer audio. We highly suggest that if you're going to host a meeting with students or any colleagues that you as the host enter the meeting a few minutes before so that you can manage a few extra settings. I'm going to stop my video for just a minute. The first setting to look at is under participants. So I'm going to click manage participants. I have the option at any point during my meeting to mute all participants. If I want to mute them all, I can do that and I can uncheck this box so that they cannot unmute themselves. That means that all students would be muted until I either unmute all by clicking this box or I can hover over particular students, I can click more and unmute those students individually. So I'm going to unmute all. Under more, I have a couple other options of um, settings that I can edit as I, as I host the meeting. So I can change these at any point during the meeting. A few other settings are under chat. Under chat, I can click these three dots on the far right, and then I can decide how participants can, can use the chat feature in Zoom. Um, if I do not want the chat feature enabled, I can choose that they can chat with no one. They can chat with the host only, which is me. They can chat with everyone publicly, so everyone in this meeting would be able to see those chats or they can chat with everyone publicly and privately. That means that students or participants would be able to select one student or participant to send a message to directly, and only those two participants would be able to see that message. We strongly encourage you before you end your Zoom meeting to click this Save Chat button. That will save a record of all chat that happened if you have the chat feature enabled. The last thing I want to show you is when you end a meeting, it's important that you end the meeting for all. As the host, you don't want to just leave the meeting because that would leave students in the meeting um, to continue the meeting on their own. If you would like to end the meeting and not have students able to stay in the chat or in the Zoom meeting, you can click end meeting for all. If you have any other questions about Zoom or any other instructional technology, please reach out to your instructional tech coaches. We'd be more than happy to help. Thanks.